Case closure report. This was kind of interesting. Attached is a pilot example of the result of Arrow's full phase analytic process. The files and accompanying data in each case have been given to Arrow's IC and ST partners for their analysis. And this resolution, resolution report reflects Arrow's determination based on the results. These case resolutions and accompanying unclassified analyses will be published on Arrow's website. So that's all great, right? Encouraging, we're being transparent with the public. This is what you guys will get. The report itself, case, quote, Western United States. 8 May 2023 is when they solved it. And it looks, look, you see here what they do. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but key findings, intelligent assessment, case essentials. They obviously were likening this to commercial aircraft traveling on different air routes. Again, just, just kind of like that case breakdown summary explaining what these are. And we'll likely get a ton of these uh, as time goes on. Solving cases, very much like Project Blue Book did. Because keep in mind, those were available to the media. If the media asked at the time, they were not classified. There were some classified cases, but the majority of them were open to the general public. So yet again, when you look at what they're doing here, they're going to probably bombard you with commercial aircraft, drones, maybe even the exhaust of an F-18 if they want to go there. They've already said parallax in their report here, IR glare, all things that we've seen bantered about through social media ramblings. However, here they are officially putting it on paper as explanations. So they're going to bury you in those, but those small percentage, again, those cases that were woven into this report and alluded to, hinted at, and you kind of have to put the pieces of the puzzle together, you likely won't see those. What about the Space Force when that gets into play? Are we going to see anything that comes from that? Likely not, not the way the secrecy is going. So again, it's, it's all about perception and optics when it comes to stuff like this. That's not conspiracy talk, that's history. And that's well-documented history that the era of Project Blue Book, it was all about the optics. Hey, media, if you want to look at our reports, come on in. Let's show it to you. Look at this weather balloon case. Look at this swamp gas case. Look, we have scientists that say it's swamp gas, so it has to be swamp gas. And that's exactly what they did at the time. Here we see the roots of something very similar, but in the 21st century a website that will have cases very much like this that essentially here case status resolved the lights were aircraft up to 300 and nautical miles away from the sensor it's great that they can solve it i won't even fight it it probably is lights from a commercial aircraft but the problem is is that it's the optics and perception that they want to give call it psyops if you will call it whatever you want call it pr but that's exactly what blue book did the optics and perception then was that the majority of the cases were easily explainable. What they didn't tell you then was that there was a percentage that they really couldn't identify. They admitted to 701, but they likely skewed the number down. But regardless, even if it was right, they didn't want you to really look at those cases that were unidentified. Some of them really didn't have the evidence. That's fine, gonna happen. But there's other ones that just did not have an explanation, nor do they to this day. We're seeing the roots of the exact same thing. And that's what's worrisome. Because again, you're gonna get bombarded by this. Look at these phenomenal pictures here that they released on the report. If you squint and turn your head slightly, you can see the commercial lights. I don't know, whatever, that's what it is apparently. Western US UAP shape distorted due to sensor vibration. So you're gonna see a lot of this kind of stuff that you just kind of like fall off your chair and go, who cares? I'm not gonna waste the bandwidth to load this and print it. So that's, in my opinion, the optics and perception of what we are seeing unfold. And that is kind of really upsetting. It really is frustrating. And, and although a lot of people see me as more of a skeptic and debunker, I guarantee you I'm not. And it's for reasons like this, because when you take history and you take the evidence that's available to us, you don't need the whistleblowers to tell us that there's more to this story than they want us to know. You don't need a rocket scientist to figure out, hey, look, their perception and the optics of all of this is likely skewing reality in order to push a certain agenda. And that agenda is to deal with the threat and the public interest. 
very much like Project Blue Book did. Those are the same words that we keep hearing about today. Public interest, massive public interest. We see it in FOIA documents. We see it in emails. We hear about it in the press and the press statements. The public interest is partially fueling this based on those from the military, from the government pushing what narrative? Ah, yes, the threat narrative. Exactly how it was back then.